Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and uh, welcome to your third Firebase hosting Firebase tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at Firebase hosting, how to host your files on your site or your mobile app online using Firebase free hosting. It comes with a big advantage, it gives you SSL, SSL free SSL certificates and, um, and all other um, all of the good good bonuses that come with it in this tutorial we will also be seeing how to add your custom domain to your hosting because when you host your website using firebase it gives you a subdomain and then you can now go and buy your own domain and add it to your firebase hosting but before then i want to take you to my channel to show you that you can subscribe to my channel to see um, get alerts and notifications as I make other tutorials. So you visit youtube.com slash c slash brainthemorg. Once the page pulls up, you hit this button to subscribe. And uh, the next thing you want to check is that, hey, you can you can donate to, if you want to donate to uh, my videos and uh, make sure that new videos are coming up, you click on any of my videos and when it pulls up, you, you click on this link it will take you to a website called Patreon. There you can enter your credit card information and um, donate on a monthly or, we, or, or as long as you want, all right? You can donate um, to support this, all right? So the next thing I want to show you is that, hey, Firebase is basically um, a kind of your back end, handles your database, your hosting, but then you still need the front end, that's where your your mobile app comes in that's where your your websites come in you understand so i'm trying to teach database without using um, or by using a popular um, front end that many people know so um, in this tutorial we'll be teaching database firebase with um, javascript and um, it was a tough decision but i have to use bootstrap otherwise you can code your html from scratch Bootstrap is basically HTML, CSS, and uh, framework. But then, um, if you don't already know Bootstrap, I want you to um, forget about the Bootstrap aspect of this tutorial and uh, concentrate on the Firebase aspect of this tutorial so you can integrate it into whatever system you're working with. So, and um, what we already have is just get to Bootstrap, get bootstrap.com and click on getting started. Then you scroll down download bootstrap and set it up otherwise this is what i just did i took one of their examples one of their examples which is this one for sign-in page because we will eventually start with a user registration and authentication system in our firebase tutorial otherwise you can build this from scratch using your html skills you understand and i downloaded it to download it you have to download this guy here all right, otherwise you, you use the default bootstrap setup. Okay, so once we have a HTML setup, this is what I have on my on my um, page. I created a folder and have this. This is basic my CSS files, my fonts, my JS files. Ignore this file. Then we have my index file and uh, this is my CSS file again, okay? The index is basically normal index file, normal HTML. Okay, so but... Um, Let's put it in a folder that is a just one level deep. I'll just call this www. Um, then I'll copy my major files and drag them into this. So very nice. This is what I want. This is um, Firebase prefers to work like this on, as default. You create a folder, then copy your main website folder and then have it there. Or uh, because it will ask you for which file contains this index.html, right? So we have this set up and uh, we are ready to go. Okay. The first thing you want to do is make sure you download something called Node.js. You head over to um, Node.js.org and um, when you arrive, you scroll down and uh, you download the stable version. You, have, you also have this if you are... Uh, Adventurous, you can download this, but this is what I use and it, it works perfectly for me. And once you hit on the download, uh, on the download button, uh, it takes you to, um, 
it's, it's a normal software to download and after the download um, you install it after the installation it means you can now run some interesting commands so you go right down to your windows or search bar and you you, you type node it pulls up this is what node.js looks like all right so uh, first of all we have to navigate into a folder on the desktop this guy we have to navigate into it. so we click we we'll copy this guy here and um, after which we get right back and get to our, our command prompt and um, here we have it so we we'll say cd that's change directory right click on your mouse on your keyboard what we copied will just show up then hit enter so which means we are now right here inside this folder so we can now start running some interesting commands that we have first of all you have to run npm install g firebase firebase tools so this installs firebase tools globally this g is for global then after you've done that i've already installed it so i didn't do it. i uh, i wouldn't uh, do that okay so after you've typed that you hit enter then your next step is to run firebase login it helps you to log into google if you have a google account that's all you need you hit enter but i've already logged in and of course make sure that your system is online or connected to the internet otherwise this won't work all right so i've already logged in as this um, famous guy and um, the next thing you want to do is uh, you, you run another command called firebase init make sure that before you run this command you are inside your project folder if you have 20 firebase projects on your system you will run firebase init on each of them to host them okay so we have firebase in it i'll hit enter and wait of course it asks us are you ready to proceed as if you if you're observing with this you see that this one is in capitals letter capital letters and this one is in small letter which means this is the default so if i hit enter without typing anything it will take the one in capital letter which is yes we are ready to rumble and um, it's asking me which one do i want we want to host i hit this arrow and um, hit enter this is the, i hit the down arrow to get this to this guy on my keyboard and i hit enter and uh, here we are what file should be used for database rules all right by default it's suggesting the default for me and i don't want to change it i'll just hit enter that's good so what do you want to use as your public directory i wouldn't want to use public it's suggesting public as default but that's not what i want to use you, you basically have to select the folder on your, your app that has your index file. I hope you get it. So the folder that has our index.html file in our, in our app is the, the www. So here I will type the, I'll type www. That's our public. I'll hit enter. Configure as a single page app. Write all URLs to no then we have it it has to create a 404 uh, file for us in case someone visits a url that doesn't exist which page does it throw up yes it's asking us should it overwrite the index we already have there that's that's brutal we don't have it we don't want it to overwrite so hit no no is already selected and um bang 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 which what firebase project do you want to associate with your default i have these firebase projects up and um, the one we created and the one we're working on is on this guy fire fire test so i'll use my down arrow key on my keyboard to navigate to fire test and hit enter initialization complete so if we get back to our folder right now we'll see that some other files have been created three other files including this one so we have these files we don't ever need to touch this all right so we are good to go like this so the next and the last um, firebase command to run is firebase deploy this is like host my files so uh, next time after coding our app 
after making changes to all our files here maybe you're, you're designing something after making the changes to design we'll just come back navigate to this folder like we did at the beginning of this we'll just cd into this folder then we'll run firebase deploy so we don't need to go through all this again we just need to do all these once and then that's it so here we are we hit enter and wait you understand so um it will basically um summarize all our files and host them on this okay so I'll, it doesn't take time but i'll pause this video so that after it has finished deploying we'll come back and try to assess it all right thank you all right that was fast so it is telling us that hey it has hosted this uh firebase file site here so our firebase site is hosted here so i will copy this Control c on my keyboard then i go to my browser to check so i have Control c Control paste so we have this we hit enter and guess what bang so um the that bootstrap file we have we we this bootstrap file you have here is um, has been hosted on Firebase. All right, so we can now get in and start editing. After editing, whatever we have, after editing, we hit Firebase deploy, and um, we are back on. After each editing, we hit Firebase deploy, enter, and it uploads it. All okay. So that's it for hosting on your Firebase console. Um, the next one we have to check is how to connect a custom domain it's simple you have already uh, you go and purchase the domain from godaddy or any domain host after purchasing it you um, once you have the rights to the domain you copy it and paste here write the name of the domain and click continue google will ask you to verify the ownership of the domain and then that's it you go live so which means anytime someone visits, visits your domain uh url it will redirect to your firebase app on google all right that's how that has been settled in the next tutorial we'll try and do some um, basic user registration and login thank you very much don't forget to support me on patreon and um and um don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you see you in the next video